everyone, I'm Alexis Miranda, your pageant door Teen Miss Arizona, and for Lexi for Literacy this month, I'm going to be reading you this book called Change Your Stinkin' Thinkin' by Annalyn Sardella and illustrated by Daniela Torres. Charlie and Marley were very good friends. Charlie always looked around with a dark cloud hovering over her head and often bore a frown upon her face. She always expected something to go wrong. Marley was always happy. She walked around full of sunshine and bore a smile upon her face. She always expected something great to happen. So this is Charlie. This is Marley. Every morning when Charlie woke up, she began the day feeling grumpy and not wanting to get ready for school. While getting ready, Charlie would say to herself, I hate having to brush my teeth, get dressed for school, brush my hair, and make my bed. Today's gonna to be a horrible day. Every morning when Marley woke up, she was happy and excited to get ready for school. Marley would say to herself, today's a beautiful day. I can't wait to go to school to learn and make new friends. It's gonna be a fantastic day. Each morning, Charlie would go downstairs to eat breakfast. She was sure that her favorite cereal, Puffs, would be gone and there would be no milk for her bowl of cereal. Sure enough, Charlie got just what she believed. The cereal was all gone and the milk was gone. Aw oh, darn, she said, today's gonna be a stinky day. Each morning, Marley would go downstairs for breakfast. She knew without a doubt that her favorite cereal, Crunch, was there and the milk would be nice and cold, ready to be poured. Yeah, she said, today is gonna be a great day. While at the bus stop, Charlie was half asleep. When the school bus arrived, none of the kids wanted to sit by Charlie. Charlie was too miserable. Marley was joyful and full of excitement. She could not wait to ride the bus to school. When Marley arrived at this, on the school bus, she saw Charlie sitting alone. Marley felt bad for her friend and decided to sit with Charlie. This made Charlie happy because Charlie did not want to sit alone. When Charlie arrived at school, she was grouchy and would not say hello to any of her classmates. She often walked sluggish to her desk. None of the other children would talk to her because they knew she was always in a bad mood. When Charlie arrived at school, she would smile and say hello to everyone and skip gratefully and to her desk. All of the children would smile and say hello back. When it came time for lunch, Charlie was not looking forward to eating. Charlie's mom forgot to pack Charlie's favorite sandwich, PB&J. This made Charlie sad. Charlie walked over to the lunch table, sat down, and said to herself, this is a horrible, no good day. Marley noticed how sad her friend was. She walked over to Charlie and asked what was wrong. Charlie explained what had happened. Marley said to Charlie, I have a PB&J sandwich. Why don't we share? Charlie smiled and said, really? I would love that. Charlie slowly began to wonder what Marley's secret was. Why is Marley so happy? Why is Marley always smiling? Why do all the kids like Marley so much? One day, Charlie asked Marley why she was always so happy. Marley replied, Charlie, each day I wake up and choose to be happy and thankful. Being thankful every day makes me happy and being happy makes me smile and smiling makes me feel good and I love to feel good. Marley then said to Charlie, you know, Charlie, it's easy to choose to be happy and it's easy to be thankful every day. You should try it and watch your life begin to shine. Charlie decided to put this idea to the test. The next day, Charlie woke up joyful and thankful. She was happy to brush her teeth, get dressed for school, brush her hair, and make her bed. Charlie noticed that her day turned around. Soon her mornings were fantastic, fantastic and not stinky. Charlie started to feel warm and fuzzy in her heart and she began to smile more. Her negativity disappeared and she started to become positive. All the children at school started noticing Charlie smile more and saying hello to everyone as she skipped joyfully to her desk. 
One by one, the children would smile back and say hello to Charlie. Charlie finally understood how important it was to start each day with a positive attitude and a thankful heart. The one thing Charlie was happiest about was the most thankful thing for was having a positive friend like Marley in her life. And this is the last page of the book. Change your stinking thinking. It also has two really fun things at the back, um, discussion questions that you can answer, and then a word search. And you can purchase this book at Daniela J. Boutique. Bye!